Where do I begin with this? This was a full install test of Windows 11, not in a virtual box, but in an actual machine, in a Lenovo computer that originally had Windows 7. Yeah, that Windows 7. And all I can say is, wow. I wasn't expecting this to run as fast as it did. I have this dual booting with uh, Zorn OS 16 Pro, perhaps my favorite implementation of the GNOME desktop, no matter what Linux that I've been using in the past. And Zorn OS Pro works pretty good. But I have to tell you, I think Windows 11 runs faster. It just felt faster than running that Linux desktop, at least as a dual boot with this one here. And the amazing part of all this, as we look through this, this machine has the original hard disk drive, the uh, Western Digital, 500 gigs. This machine's gotta be about, what, 10 years old? The original hard disk drive, which works, evidently it does. I had no problems installing Windows 11. And, I was as, and, and as I was browsing through this, I thought, this can't be running that fast. It's impossible. On a 10-year-old machine, dual core, let alone the original hard disk drive that runs slower, that should be running slower than a snail on a hot summer day tied to a brick. Maybe that's a poor joke. But this ran faster. It felt like it ran faster than my Linux side of this running Zorn OS Pro 16 with the GNOME desktop. Now, I do realize that GNOME is not necessarily built for speed when it comes to Linux. There are faster implementations of Linux out there. I get it. But this just feels faster, and it shouldn't be. It should not be running faster on a 10-year-old hard disk drive on a dual-core machine. So what could I say? Microsoft said that Windows 11 has performance in enhancements to make it run considerably faster. It's not all about the looks. Now, I won't judge the looks of this or grade this by looks. I understand that how something looks, the theming and all that can be more subjective rather than objective. I'll leave that up to you. As far as the looks goes and, and, the, and the theming of all this and the upgrades to all this and the updates to the theming, yeah, I think it's okay. Personally, I'm not that picky when it comes to looks. The first thing I look at is stability. Is this stable? So far, in a short half day of testing, yeah, it's stable. Is it fast? <laughs> yeah. Uh, here we're looking at memory usage. Three, three and a half gigs running OBS Studio. It's a little high, but hey, it is Windows. But honestly, all things considered, it's... This should not be running that fast on an outdated Fred Flintstone dinosaur age hard disk drive. But I have to give credit where credit is due. And this thing is amazing. If, if you have a machine that can run Windows 11, and I have to advise you between this and Linux, or at least Linux running the GNOME desktop, forget about the GNOME desktop. This is amazing. I mean, absolutely not what I expected. I'm a bit disappointed. I was hoping this would run slow, crash, so I can make fun of Windows, as I sometimes do. You know me. But I have to be honest. I have to call it as I see it. And this, well, this just works. It works the way Microsoft claimed it would. Now, further, further testing is necessary. I don't know. You guys test Windows 11. You tell me.